working with difficult thoughts. In this meditation, we're going to practice working with thoughts. Thoughts are to rise in our mind as we try to meditate. And we're going to use a breath as a kind of anchor for our mind. So we will rest our awareness on the sensations of the breath coming in and going out of the body. And as you know from your experience, thoughts often arise in the mind taking us away from the breath. So in this meditation, we're going to focus on working with thoughts. Let's just begin by having a general sense of the body. Dropping your awareness down into your body. Feeling the weight of the body pressing down onto the cushion, the floor, or the chair underneath you. Stay with that contact for a few moments. Being aware of any sensations in the feet, your legs, your bottom, your back, stomach area, chest and rib cage, hands, arms, shoulders and your neck and your head. And notice that your body is breathing. Feel your body breathing. It can be helpful to take your awareness lower down in your body, down through your chest, down through the solar plexus and into the abdomen. Feeling the rise and fall of the abdomen as you breathe in and breathe out. Now see if you can notice when a thought arises in your mind. And then when you've noticed that, see if you can let it go. Just as easily as it came into your mind, see if you can just as easily let it go. This is similar to the listening to sounds meditation. There, you remember, I asked you to just notice sounds as they came into your awareness and notice when they left. Thoughts are similar to sounds in this respect. We don't decide to have a thought. It just pops into our mind. So see if you can let the thought go and come back to the breath.
You may be dismayed to notice just how many thoughts you are having. How often a thought would come in and take you away from your breath. Instead of being dismayed, I wonder if you can become interested. Isn't it curious just how many thoughts come into our mind one after another? You may have ten thoughts during this meditation. You may have a hundred. You may have more. It really doesn't matter as long as you notice them and let them go. Okay, I'm going to leave you for a couple of minutes now. I wonder if you're having a thought, letting it go, then the same thought occurs. You let it go again, but then it comes back again. If this is the case, this thought is probably charged with emotion. The reason it keeps coming back is that something is asking for your attention. So if you've let go of a thought a number of times and it keeps coming back, you could try a different tack now. Just stay with that thought. Be with it. Try not to get caught up in the words of that thought, in the story it's telling you. Try to go underneath the story to the emotional charge, the feelings that are provoking it. Perhaps the thought is about something that you're worried about. So see if you can be with a feeling of worry feeling of anxiety. Be curious about this too. What does anxiety feel like? Where do you feel it? Can you feel it in the body? If so, what does it feel like? Or perhaps the thought that keeps coming back is to do with an upset. Perhaps you had an argument with somebody and you're feeling bad about it. So again, see if you can go beneath the argument to the feelings which are provoking that thought. The feelings of upset. Perhaps anger. Perhaps regret about something you said. 
using the breath as an anchor. This last section has been to do with reoccurring thoughts. Thoughts that keep coming back as much as you let them go. But if you're able to just let thoughts go and they don't come back, just keep doing this practice, noticing and letting go. Some things need thinking about. It's worth giving them some thought. Other things are just random. They just come into our mind at various times and we really don't need to go into them. We're just learning how to exercise some choice regarding what we keep in our head, what we follow through and what we can let go. And that brings this meditation to a close. 